Modern data teams rely on multiple tools to move and transform their data. And while this provides a lot of flexibility, the downside is that it can quickly become overwhelming. That's where Prefect, an open source task orchestration tool, comes into play. It gives you a single place to build and orchestrate all of your data workflows. So in this video, we'll break down what Prefect is, how you can start using it for free, and lastly, how to run your first Prefect flow. So first off, what exactly is Prefect and how are data teams using it? Prefect is an orchestration tool that allows you to define, build, and monitor data flows in a single location. It's open source, built around Python, and follows a hybrid model, meaning Prefect does not have access to your code, which resides and runs in your chosen environment. Data teams use Prefect to create custom scripts and set up alerting, notifications, and monitoring. The fact that Prefect is built around Python means that it's easy for many data engineers to pick up and use. Now that we know what Prefect is and how teams are using it, let's see how easy it is for you to build your own workflows. First, you'll need to install Prefect on your local machine. You can find detailed installation instructions in the Prefect documentation, which we'll link below. Before you begin, consider using a virtual environment to keep things organized. Once you're ready, pip install Prefect. At this point, Prefect is installed on your machine and you're ready to build your very first flow. To do that, you'll need to create a file with some Python code in it. So let's start with a simple file with a few functions in it. Now let's add a flow decorator to our function, which allows you to observe execution, retry upon failure, handle timeouts, and capture details during execution, such as runtime and final state. We can also start a local prefix server to view our flow run. Now let's add a task decorator, which tells Prefect that this function represents a task in a flow. Tasks represent discrete units of work that can be composed together to form a flow. Let's define a flow that runs two tasks. As you can see, we've used our add numbers and multiply numbers tasks to compose a flow that adds two numbers together and then multiplies them. We can now run this flow and see the tasks as well. Now let's see how we can create subflows in Prefect. With Prefect subflows, you gain a natural and intuitive way of organizing your flows into modular subcomponents. We've defined a subflow that takes two inputs and adds them together. We can use the subflow in our parent flow, which will multiply the result by a third number. Flows can have properties like schedules and storage, and subflows allow you to encapsulate a flow within another flow, making your workflows easy to manage while keeping your code clean and maintainable. Now you know what Prefect is all about and how to create your first flow. But in the real world, you won't always want to trigger workflows just from your local machine. So in the next video, you'll learn how you can trigger your Prefect flows remotely. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you at the next one.